Hello, this is Rob from Rims Models. Uh, this is my final reveal of the AFV Centurion, which is that kit there. Uh, just before we start, I'd like to say a big thank you to all my subscribers, all your comments as well. Really, really do appreciate them all. And I'm sorry about the lack of content as well. I've uh, just been so busy at work. Because uh, um, this new job I started, I've got to do nights, so I'm trying to get my job changed. And get back to um, days so I can start getting some more videos out. So, what we'll do, we'll let it come round. And then I'll talk you through what I've done. Basically, apart from the aerials, it's built straight out of the box. No problems at all. Beautiful kit. Fits excellent. Um, yeah, no problems. Really, really nice kit. Highly recommend it. So what I'll do, I'll just stop it. And then we'll, uh, I'll talk you through what I've done. Right, so the first thing I do, I always prime it, the MIG one shot, black primer. Everything is primed with that. Uh, great, really nice, really nice primer. Now the actual colour is that, which is the Tamiya XF62. And what I've done... I mixed it with their um, X20A thinner. Um, I don't know what the percentage was, but it was really, really thin. And I just lightly dusted the paint over so you can see all the pre shading underneath. So that's the main colour. Then the tracks and the um, rubber wheels, the rubber tyres. Or is that XF85? Now the tracks, I had a bit of trouble. They are the rubber band tracks. Well, what had happened? I pat, I primed them in my one shot primer. Um, then I did the rubber, the rubber black, and then when I started to fit them, as I was bending the tracks, the paint was peeling off. So I've never, I've never. It's the first time using rubber band tracks. So. I don't know what I was doing wrong, but I've managed. I've just re-sprayed them, took my time, and I managed to get them to fit all right. Okay, so that's that. The tools there is this. No, it's not. Sorry, this one. There, look. Gun metal. There. So I did all the metal parts with that and then the actual wooden handles I did that there and then um, all I done then was did a, an oil wash on the top just to um, darken it off a little bit I then when I done that I done a ping wash and that's what I used there oh, let's do it the right way There, dust. Oil brusher, dust. And I did a ping wash all around the details. No problems at all. Um, bear in mind, I've done no... Um, there's no glossing or anything being done. I've just done it straight on top of the paint. The decals have gone down fine. No problem at all. Right, so let's just push it back a little bit. And then, what I've done then, the next bit of weathering I've done, was this, here. And it's a, I've had this for quite a while, I've never used it before. Okay, which is dark earth. And what I've done, you can't see it because of the side skirts, 
what I've done all the wheels all this sort all underneath was all done with that right so what I've done then I'll put it on and then all I do then is just get some water and just blend it in with the water and then leave that to dry then and then I went over then with some thinners over the top of it and then I've done um, a little pigment mix which is this here then where the pigments are used so the colours are them are the colours so I didn't use the slight grey I used the, the others the other three there okay and all I did was mix the pair mix it together and then I just got a brush and I was tapping it over and then here all the speckling on the sides is there uh, with the the uh, this one again the Vallejo the textured one and all I did is got my brush and I was just flicked it so I've done all that uh, let's go around a little bit so I'm on the back as well let's see if I can lift it up and show you there as you can see I've done the underneath as well as you, you can just make out there look I've done the whole lot the um, tracks were dry brushed with that one you can't make it out but it's actually a matte matte alum aluminium so what I've done I've done that and then I just got my pencil and just went over the top of it uh, I've used um, the black pigment there so I've done there I've done the smoke as well on the exhausts and then I went over the top of it with fresh engine oil and there's a couple of spots on there I've done I'll bring it round uh, round to the front there uh, spare tracks was rusted with me MIG rust set I haven't got it to hand but if you look in my other videos you'll see that what you know what I used so I'm going to do I'll lift it up now oh, hold on a second while I just adjust the camera there you can now you can see it from the top now there let me just push you back a little bit so you can see all the pin wash there uh, the gun was done black then I dry brushed it with some um, the aluminium then done the, uh, the the brown handle the wooden handle um, yeah I had problems with that as well because that was rubber as well and I painted it and, that, and when I fitted it the paint started cracking and peeling off so I had to redo that as well but I got there I got it done as I said the decals no problem at all beautiful decals to do okay so that's it and once again as I just said earlier the aerials are the only extras I've had to do you can have the, the hatches opened if you want if you're going to put figures in it but I um, I didn't bother I also did the black pigment as well on the end of the gun barrel so what I'll do I'll give you one last look around and then I'll be ready for my next project I've, I've already started my next one um, it's actually an interior kit so there should be an update to that coming very soon so let's I can't I can't recommend this kit enough it's really nice um, I've got um, I've actually got coming up soon um, a kit by Tamiya I've never done a Tamiya kit before so it'll be my first one and um, if it goes anything like this 
then um, I should have no trouble. I've got um, another one of these in my stash, but it's um, a different. It's a Centurion, but um, I can't remember which one it is. It's, I think it's a Mark III or something. So I shall be building that as well soon. Well, as I said, just apart from the the rubber parts uh, with the paint coming off, I had no trouble at all. Um, really, really enjoyed it. So, I, once I should get back to normal soon, start getting back on the bench, get some more videos out for you. Yeah, I've got a, I've got a lot of builds to do, uh, and I'm looking forward to doing them. And I've got one which is coming very soon, and it's a one sixteenth um, scale kit. So that's all I'm going to say. So I'll keep an eye out for that because I will be doing updates on that. And also, I don't forget I've got the update of my mini art as well. Kit coming. I've already done made a start on the interior, so there'll be an update to that soon. So take care and thank you for looking.